value trades, forex, CFDs, and commodities. If you like to trade economic news events, you will know that one of the most prevalent market movers is a country's reports on retail sales. Before we look at this, we'd like to remind you that CFDs and FX are leveraged products and that your capital is at risk. These products may not be suitable for all investors, and we encourage you to read the risk warning on the Value Trades website. Retail sales figures are released each month and show us the change in sales from retail outlets to the consumer. These sales can come from department stores, online retailers, specialist retailers, vending machines, shops, and many others. The figures are adjusted seasonally and for inflation, and all major economies use them. Most figures look at month-on-month -month sales and the percentage change, and others look at year-on-year -year where that month's figures are compared to the same month a year earlier. For most economies, core retail sales exclude automotive sales as the larger figures may often distort the true view of general retail sales. Retail sales figures are vital to stock investors and particularly to those who directly invest in retail companies. The figures are also a big component of the total gross domestic product of an economic region and can predict growth or recession. Therefore, these figures are important drivers of the value of its component currency. Like any news event, opportunities occur when the published figure is substantially different from the forecast. Here we have an example of price action with UK retail sales, where the month-on-month -month sales figures were quite a bit lower than analyst expectations driving the pound weaker. The pound did rebound just enough to continue the current downtrend. Here we have a situation on dollar CAD where Canadian retail sales were much better than predicted, and the loonie gained well over 100 pips during the next couple of hours. The month before, the opposite had occurred and figures were worse than expected and dollar CAD shot up roughly 100 pips. This was actually a better opportunity for traders as this was a counter-trend move. And, after the spreads returned to normal, investors saw this as a good time to short dollar CAD or buy the loony. Just to recap, retail sales are basically a measure of how much consumers are spending. When trading retail sales, the difference between the actual figure and the predicted figure will drive the markets. When trading, retail sales will affect an economy's currency regardless of the size of that economic region. That's all for now. We will be back with more soon. Happy trading with value trades.